All right, I do have a Cara Beauty haul for you. I got it off my Kari. I paid $64 in total, but I saved $100. I looked it all up on their website. I saved a lot. I bought it, it was in brand new. I had a bundle of eight palettes, and I got one, two, three, four, five free items with it, and she packed it great. Also, ignore the cold sore. I know it's there. I'm sad because I just I got a cute lip set coming. <sighs> and now I can't use it right now. Very sad, very sad. All right. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'll show you the freebies and then we'll get to the palettes because y'all are going to like the palettes. So the free things I got was the Cream Shop Moisturizing Hand Sanitizer. It's called Mixed Berry Scented. And then I got a hyaluronic acid with peach essence mask sheet. Mask sheet. Um, I don't really use face masks, but when when I do, someone sends them to me for free or something off my car, I just use it to see if I still like, see if I don't like them. And then I realize I really don't like, it's all the residue that gets left behind. I can't take it. I like a nice light kind of thing. Skincare, you know? And the St. Ives Cleansing Stick Cactus Water and Hibiscus. Hibiscus? It actually smells pretty good. I don't know. I will definitely use this. I wouldn't like have you guys smell it, but you physically cannot. But it feels like it's going to be real nice, so I cannot wait to use that. And it rolls up, so that's nice. And then, let's see here, the Essentially Ageless Blurring Press Powder. It is in the shade Medium Deep. I am a neutral beige. Put that in the box. But, so here's what she looks like unpackaged. I've done swatched it and stuff. But I can actually use this with the lighter foundations I have in my my stash here you know i have quite a few foundations that are like a little too light because you know i off picked that shade but i put this on the hand and i put this over and it kind of blended in pretty good so i was like oh that's not gonna be too bad so this can work not bad shouldn't do too bad for freebies and then the last freebie uh is the cara beauty blushing around it says lip and cheek cream blush palette but we all know this is only going to go on the cheeks and I also really love cream blush here's what she looks like out of the box don't worry it won't break it's cream <laughs> but I just heck and smash that here's what she looks like I'm not doing any swatches so this one this one right here has like uh, a little bit of shimmer to it, so that's kind of cool. I guess I can swatch that one real quick. Oh, that feels nice though. Ooh, that kind of looks like, um, now there's orgasm, but now we're swatching. Oh, it's cream to powder. It dry sound pretty good. Not like super dry, but it's not like tacky either. Kind of balmy, but like I don't know, it's like a mixture. But it looks gorgeous. Okay, I like it. But swatches aren't always what you go for. You don't believe swatches sometimes. I'm not swatching the palettes though. There's too many palettes, and I'm not swatching all those. Also, I don't really like to swatch palettes a lot because sometimes that can create hard pan. And I don't like hard pan. So, so get it unboxed. We have the Peace and Lovin'. It's all Cara Beauty, so I don't have to repeat myself. Also, you can, there is the batch numbers on there. So, at least they're not fake. I've seen Cara Beauty once. And then I've seen a couple of other people use this. I'm like, I want to try this too. You know? So why not buy a bundle? 
here's the packaging and the packaging looks like the box so that's cool here she is it does have two press glitters in it but i'm not mad about that i will use those there's these are the press glitters but look at the little color story that's gorgeous the free spirit glitter is calling my name and we have Summer Days. Super cute. Also looks like the packaging, so that's nice. Fun. We love fun packaging. This also has two glitters in it, which is this one. And then this one, they have like one chunky glitter and then one super fine glitter. Yeah, that's the super fine glitter. Here's the full look at it. That's gorgeous. Then there is Flower Power. And these are all brand new too, by the way. Super cute. She said she had too much makeup and needed to clutter, and I'm like, I'll take it. And then this one also has two brush glitters, a chunky and a find one so that's a fine press better in the chunky but look how cute that is gorgeous and we have behind the mask i love that the packaging looks like the boxes like she knows what she's doing these ones if you go online and look they retail for 16.99 so 17 bucks for these three these ones are $24.99, so they are $25, bucks. so that's not bad. This one's behind the mask. Take the plastic out. This one doesn't have any press glitters in it, so they don't all have press glitters. I think it was just those three colors, but look how beautiful that one is. Then we have Stroke of Midnight. The box packaging there. This one doesn't have any pressed glitter either. Let me put, put the trash in the box I have over here. Here's the inside of this one. That dreaming shade looks real nice, by the way. I don't know, I hope how it looks super cute. And we have Easy Cruising. These two palettes are the same price as the small three ones, which is like 17 bucks. And then the other one I have is 25. I'm gonna show you after these two. So we have Easy Cruising. did the same thing with Sample Beauty when I wanted to try Sample Beauty. I just bought a bundle. That's why I like Macari. Here's the inside of Easy Cruising. I do recommend I only buy from people who have good reviews overall. So every time I've tried to buy from someone has like just one bad review, but it just seems to be like they weren't satisfied with something or whatnot. It just, it doesn't work out really. So I just go with all good reviews. Good tip. <laughs> we have Keep On Rolling. I really like her packaging. And they all come with these little plastic covers. They all have names by the shades. So that's even better, but look at this. And then the last one I got from her is the I'm not really sure what the name A Guide to Stardom I think is the name of it. Here she is. What she, it's supposed to be like a magazine. There's three of these but only the bundle I bought only came one. But look how pretty that is. That's pretty. 
And here's what it says. It's what the inside looks like. But yeah, that is my little haul. I do have a small Alta purchase coming. Uh, I think you guys will like that. But yeah, I'm excited to use these. You know, new brand. Who doesn't like trying new brands? And it's a steal. What I paid for all of these is what I would have paid for a high-end palette for 60 bucks. So that's really not bad. And I haven't heard anything bad about this brand. So that's even better. So I will be doing looks for all of these. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye.